Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be honing the cylinder of this golf cart engine. Still waiting on a few parts before we will be able to put it back together. But today I'll show you how to hone it or hone any cylinder. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so just the first thing, a few things to start off with um, when honing a cylinder. I'm no expert at this. Um, I've only done this a handful of times. Um, but there are a few things to go over. Um, you will want to make sure you get the right size cylinder hone. Uh, today we'll be using a, a ball hone. Um, and when you purchase one of these, if you're purchasing one, make sure to purchase um, the size of the hone that fits the size of the cylinder. So this was a, it was about three and three eighths inch across. Um, so I purchased a three and a half inch uh, cylinder hone. Um, it will be slightly bigger because this is meant for a three and a half inch cylinder, if that makes sense. So just make sure to, to purchase the right size. You want it to be slightly bigger, so it's obviously pressing out on the outside of the cylinder. You always want to be using some kind of lubricant when you are doing it. Um, they recommend either like a 10W30 or some kind of honing oil. Um, obviously just to you know make sure it's lubricated and not you're not leaving any of the grit behind. Um, and then lastly, just make sure that it's spinning, um, before it goes in and all the way through while it's coming out. Um, you always want it spinning as it's going in and when it's coming out. Um, and then lastly, just, you want to try to match the RPM with your stroke to make a 45 degree cross hatch. So there's lots of videos out there. Again, I'm no expert on this. Um, but I have done it before. Um, it's just kind of playing with it to try to get that 45 degree cross hatch on it. Um, they say the typical time you want to be, um, inside the cylinder is, is anywhere between 10 and 60 seconds, um, to be able to get that cross hatch. Again, you're not, the idea is not to take off a ton of material. It's just to be able to put a nice clean surface on there, get the glaze off of there. That way when you put in um, your new piston and rings, um, they can seat together and, and make a good good uh, good seat. So um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna hook this up to my drill. I'm gonna use an electric drill today, just that way I've got plenty of power and a good, uh, Good speed without worrying about it bogging down or anything. Again, make sure you've got plenty of lubrication. I like to lube up the balls and the cylinder. Can be kind of messy, so So I don't fling too much on the camera while I'm doing this. Okay. And we will uh, try not to bump you too much. Just trying to keep this engine straight, but we'll go in and uh, hopefully it doesn't push it too much, but we'll go ahead and uh, give it a whirl and see what we've got. Let me give you a close up real quick of what it looks like before. Should have done that in the beginning, but hang on. Try to turn this light off. That helps. Maybe not. Let me hold it over. So I don't know if you can see. Might not be able to see. Yeah, there we go. So you can see that it's just 
it's not scored up terribly, but like I said, with just putting new piston and rings in it, while everything's tore apart, might as well just put a new fresh cross hatch in there. So that's the before. Let's get started. Dang it. Should have pulled it out while I was still running. I kind of got snagged up there, worried about. So you can kind of see the oil. You can see the lines in the oil. Um, not quite 45 degrees, I don't think. I'm gonna wipe it off and see if, see how we're looking. So again, that's kind of just matching the the RPM speed to the to how fast your your strokes are to get that 45. You know, we're getting close. It actually looks pretty dang good. I do say so myself. Get some more lubrication in there. And go a little bit longer. Ooh, I like the look of that. Clean that up a little bit and see how we look there. That might be it, folks. Get some brake clean, clean up all that nasty. Now that all that grit, not grit, but now that it's all kind of cleaned up, you can see some, some minor scoring in there. Nothing bad, again, nothing that's gonna cause any issues. It's not catching my nail or anything, but I might go back and clean that up, try and get rid of some of that. But in terms of the cross hatching, that, uh, kind of does its job. Um, well, it does its job. That's kind of what we were looking for and hoping for. And that's, uh, that is exactly what we were trying to do. Let me see if I can get you a good shot. Well, you can kind of see it there. I'll try not to put too much light, but get you a good, get you a good view of it, but 
There's a good cross hatch. Wish I could get some good lighting in that cylinder so you could see it, but. Kind of see it there, hopefully. Don't mean to toot my own horn, but I'd say that pretty, looks pretty dang good, if you ask me. Looks much better in person, I promise you. <laughs> Anyways, that, uh, like I said, I, you can't see the scoring on that camera. You can barely even see the cross hatching, but I may go in and try and clean up a little bit more of that, but that is how you do it. Anyways, guys, that's uh, that's how you hone a cylinder. Uh, like I said, just make sure you've got the right cylinder hone, uh, right size. Uh, like I said, this is this is the biggest one I've done. Typically, I've I've done uh, you know small lawn mowers and stuff. Um, that's why I had to order this uh, the three and a half inch cylinder hone. Uh, that's kind of what I was waiting on uh, to be able to start this one. So um, just be patient with it. Don't rush it. Kind of got one chance to do it right. Um, just get the right size, add some oil, and uh, you'll be on your way. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up for me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment, comments down below. And as always, make a choice to have a great day. Thank you all for watching.